Which one of you took my candy bucket? <laughs> oh! It's on my face. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to swing this axe at you. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel! Today we are back in the Blockburg, and we're back with another Strange Built episode where I build the dumbest, the weirdest, the silliest slings. That's it. That's pretty much it. Welcome back. So today for a Halloween themed Strange Built episode, I thought I'd make a Witch's Cauldron. If you don't know what that is, well, I'll show you. Hold on, let me change plots. So for those that don't know what a witch's cauldron looks like, I shall put it down for you right about, uh... Now. I don't know, I'm not sure how we can make, like, the stick pop out of the cauldron. We might just use, like, pillars or something. This is basically what we're gonna be making. It's just, like, a circular bowl. You know, this is what the witches use to, like, mix their potions and stuff. And Yeah, I'm just gonna base the house off of this. So, from what I can see here, we have the stand of the cauldron. So there's, like, four legs of it or legs of the cauldron how we do that and then i think for the inside of it we can make like fog machine to make it look like mystical and stuff let's get started on this so the first thing i'm gonna do is make the legs of this so i think we're just gonna do like regular one floor walls it's like a little box here and then we just have to measure out oh gosh oh neptune I'm doing math in my head. I'm doing math in my head. That's way off. That's not That's not it. Okay. There we go. We'll do something like this. And then it's one, two, three. Is this correct? Oh, I need to make this a little bit wider. Okay, I think this is it. This is good right here. This might be funny looking. Oh no. Hmm. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing, by the way. <laughs> Wait, I know how to make... Okay, hold on. Let me just do it. Maybe I shouldn't do that. Maybe we'll do the legs last. I don't know how much this is really. Like two here? I don't know. One, two, three. I made it. Okay, so I made our shape. I should have done the like legs last because yeah, I'm, I'm just, it's fine. It's totally fine. I make things more complicated than they should be. That's just how I am. But <laughs> I figured it out. I figured it out guys, don't worry. Okay, I think we're good. That's perfect. That's perfect. One, two, three, four. There's only four legs on the cauldron, so we're good. One, two, three, and then a little corner, and then three. One, two, three, corner, this, and then three. Okay. So this is the cauldron. Should I make it one more, like, okay, I'm gonna make it one level higher, actually. And then, yeah, that should be good. Uh, that should be good. It's not really, it's, it's round, it's rounded. This house is actually pretty crazy. This house is pretty big. How am I even gonna get up here, actually? Oh, I have an idea. Okay. To get up here, we're gonna put a stair or like a ladder or something. Can I just use a ramp? And then we will use like a door. Uh, we'll use like this one or something. And I kind of want to leave it like open. There's not gonna be a roof for this because the cauldron obviously doesn't have a roof. Hmm, let me try and experiment actually. Let me, uh, let me experiment. So I'm gonna try to put a floor up here, color it so that way it kind of looks like the magical stuff. What if I made it blue like my cauldron? So I'm gonna make it blue like this, and then we'll put fences around it. So if you're looking, if you look at the cauldron, this will be the roof part, and then this will be like the half fences. Oh, I could do something like that, right? I could just, I don't know if, I don't know if this is the perfect one or not. What, which one do you guys think? I think, I think these ones are better. Color and whatnot, and then I think we'll be set, so. Um, we'll just make it like a black cauldron, just like the reference. And yeah, oh my gosh, I think we're doing great. Now for the like mystical effect, we'll just add fog machines on it since it is a flooring and we can put stuff on floors. Okay, actually, how am I gonna make the stick? I think we'll just use pillars. Okay, we're almost done. I just gotta color the rest of this cauldron. No, it'll take me like five seconds, don't worry. One, two, three, four, five. It did not take me five seconds. That looks pretty good. Okay, the door is a little bit, it's ruining it a little bit. So let's just get rid of that. Okay, there we go. Now it blends in better. <gasps> wow, we did it, guys. We made a cauldron. Okay, now I'm going to put the fog machines up here. That doesn't look too bad. We need a few, I think we need a bit more though. If we want like a better effect. There we go. Okay, so it has to be blue as well. So we have to change the fog. So let's make it this blue. Oh no, you can't really see the blue that well, can you? Wouldn't this look better at night though? I need to put lights up here. Okay, we need lights up here. <laughs> we need lights up here. 
Hmm. Okay, maybe if we... I think it'll look a lot better if we just add lights inside the house. Like, if we put a light right here. I'm obviously gonna put down a ceiling fan. Okay, we don't really need these lights because we're gonna have lights on the inside anyways. This is pretty- this is looking pretty good though, like, you can tell this is a- oops. <laughs> you can tell this is a cauldron, right? Um, I think we might use pillars. We can just use like a giant pillar, right? Like something like this. And then we can just put one on top here. And put one on top of this. Okay, we'll just make it like a brown wooden stick. How about that? I'm just combining- now I'm combining the pillars to make it look like a bigger stick. Like a bigger stirring stick. I don't know how this going to turn out, but then like that. Let me add extra right here. That looks really good! Wow! Wow, wow, wow. I- there might be a better way to do this, but for now, I'm just- I'm, st I'm just gonna roll with this. We finally created the shape of our cauldron. We got that, um, mystical effect. You know, the little fog coming out of it. And we even made the stirring stick. Okay, now we just have to make this into a house, and we are good. So let me just furnish the home now. I don't know how we can turn this into a house, to be honest with you. I might want to go with a loft again. You're probably like, Peter, why are you making a loft? Okay, so I'm going to make this into an office. This will be a kitchen. This will be a bathroom. This will be the living room. And then upstairs is going to be a mini loft. I'm not sure how that's going to look, but we'll, we'll do that later. So let's just focus on this floor here. So I'm just going to start flooring up every room now. Okay, the house is finally complete. So this is what it ended up looking like. Um, I can't zoom all the way out, unfortunately, but here, it, I'll, just, I'll just try jumping. Don't worry, I'll try jumping. So it ended up looking like this. And the ladder and the door blends in very well. So you probably won't even notice that there's a, even a ladder here. Unless you, you know, look thoroughly. This is what it looks like. Okay, I'm gonna go into build mode so you can see it better because that's just, it's not working out. So this is what it looked like. Isn't that great? It looks exactly like the cauldron right here. <gasps> so good. We got the blue mystical water and we got the giant stirring stick. Let's go ahead and explore the inside. Oh, I'm trapped in my own little box. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what is on the inside. Now, once again, I try not to go all out on decorating and stuff. There are certain rooms that I'm really liking. What are the chances of me living, actually living here? I don't know. I did put some effort and this is how it looks. So let's climb this ladder here. If you open up this door, this is what we got. So this actually looks pretty decent. It could be better, like I always say, but um, I didn't want to go all out. So here, as you enter the house, there's a living room to your right. Has everything you need, even open pizza box for a bit of detail. Um, to the, uh, oh my gosh. Don't question why there's a red light going through the kitchen and the uh, office. But right here is the office and I added a secret door somewhere. Well, we'll go back there in a little bit. It's a simple office. I don't really make offices that much to be honest, like actual rooms just for an office. So this turned out pretty 
well, I think. Um, and then over here, it's just a simple kitchen. Nothing much going on here. Oh gosh, what? What did I just do? Oh, I turned on the light. But this is a bathroom. Has everything you need. And then if we go upstairs, this is kind of like a loft. There, we got the washer and dryer here. Just like some household stuff. And there's just the fog going through the ceiling. I wasn't expecting the fog to go through the ceiling for some reason, but yeah, that's what happens. My bedroom, basically. I forgot to add a dresser, but that's okay. And then here is just like a training room, like a little mini gym upstairs. All right, and that's basically it for my my giant witch's cauldron house. I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, the build. If you did, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. And if you guys want to keep watching any other Roblox videos on the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. It is completely free. Thank you all so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this. I will talk to you guys later. Stay tuned. Stay awesome. Have a wonderful day. Pita Bread signing out. Goodbye, everybody. Time to explore my secret room. <laughs> <laughs> totally prop items. Not real. Not real.